What's going on, church fam? Welcome back to Everyday Church Life. So today I want to get up here to talk to y'all about heading in the right direction. You're on the right path. See, sometimes we could be on the right path and it could feel like we're heading in the wrong direction. We could start off doing good. You know, we're doing what the Heavenly Father called us to do. And it seemed like everything is working at the beginning, but then we reach a plateau. We reach a certain stage on the journey when it feel like everything is slowing down. It feel like we really ain't moving. And it can feel like we're going in the wrong direction. But I just want to let you know, you're still on the right path. You're still on the right path. See, when we reach those moments in life, that's the Heavenly Father preparing us for the next stage of our walk with Christ. He's preparing us for the next stage for us to answer the calling. And it's going to become a little bit more challenging and it will have more responsibilities that's added to it. Because when you are about to reach a new level in life, when the Heavenly Father is about to exalt you to an even greater level with more responsibilities, he's adding to your skill set. He's blessing you with more wisdom, knowledge, and a better understanding of your calling, your purpose, the thing that he created you to do. So the Heavenly Father has to slow things down in order for you to be able to operate at the highest potential when he elevates you. And you know, this is all done during an isolation phase. See, when we reach that moment in our journey when things are slowing down and it feels like we're heading in the wrong direction, there's a certain type of isolation that will happen because God is getting rid of the distractions. See, sometimes the Heavenly Father can't bless us the way he wants to because the enemy is just too close. The enemy is around, he's plotting on you, and he wants to stop you from reaching your true destiny. Because once you reach that destiny, guess what? It's going to deliver people out of the darkness into the marvelous light of Lord Jesus. That's what God called us to do. He called us to be a light in a dark place. So it might seem like things aren't working right now, but guess what? You're still on the right path. That's a good sign. I remember I did a video one time when I saw, I actually saw someone else's video and they said, when you play in a video game, right? You know you're heading in the right direction when the enemies increase. See. When you get to that moment in life, on your journey, and God is about to do something great in your life, he has to level you up. So he's going to slow you down just so you could do the side missions in order to, you know, increase in wisdom and knowledge and understanding. Because if you don't get leveled up, when you go to the next level, you won't be prepared. You won't be prepared spiritually, mentally, nor physically. Simply because it's almost like taking a shortcut. You're going to miss valuable information. And that's what happens in the video game. Before you go to the next level, it's equipment that you got to acquire. It's certain documents that you're going to have to find. And those are the side missions. That's how you level up. But in real life, that's what the Heavenly Father is doing. And the enemies will become stronger on the next level. So God is preparing you for all that. that there's a greater responsibility that's attached to what God is about to allow you to do when he exalts you in due time. And it's not an easy process. It's not. I'm going to go ahead and tell you the truth. 
it's a lot of times on my journey when I reach these slow moments, these moments when it feel like, hey, gone. It seems like the enemy keep on getting one over on me. It seems like I keep on going back to a familiar place or it's just going to feel like everything is wrong. It's going to feel like the Heavenly Father left you. But really, he didn't. Really, the Heavenly Father is setting the stage. God is the one who's making the plays. We just got to follow instructions and be obedient. And I guarantee you, you will succeed as long as you continue to trust the plans of the Heavenly Father. Don't let the devil cause you to overthink about something that's not even true. Because the devil wants you to overthink about the simple fact that things slow down. He wants you to feel like you're headed in the wrong direction when really it's the right direction. And guess what? He wants you to feel like the Heavenly Father has left you, but really the Heavenly Father is preparing you. You're not failing. Don't mistake failure with preparation. God will allow you to go through the test run in order to get you right through experience. That's all it is. The Heavenly Father is allowing you to experience these things because the triumph of your faith is what produce perseverance. So you just got to push through. You got to endure the stuff that you must suffer through in order to receive the newness of life on the other side. And here's another thing. You never seen an apple tree grow in one day. It takes time, preparation. In other words, God is sowing a seed into you and it takes time to grow into his full purpose. So this is what's going to happen in every new season that the father bring you to. Right before he level you up, He's going to prepare you so things may slow down. And you're going to feel like you're headed in the wrong direction. When indeed it's the right path. But it's simply to prepare you for what's next. It's all attached to your destiny, your calling. So keep on moving forward. Perseverance is key. And guess what? That perseverance develops the more faithful we become on this path of righteousness. You're headed in the right direction. I pray this video bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. I love y'all.